Hey guys, welcome to another video. For those of you who have been following the Let's Play series, you'll know that I mentioned that I enjoy Redstone. And, uh, and yeah, I, I really like Redstone. Uh, I haven't actually gotten to it in the Let's Play yet. We're still pretty early on. However, I really kind of wanted to start doing Redstone on the channel. Just, uh, you know, because I like Redstone. But here's the thing. I am not an expert. I will not claim to be an expert. I, uh, for those of you who know me well, I'm not afraid to admit that I do not know what I'm doing when it comes to certain things. And redstone is certainly one of them. I can do doors. I can do, you know, some kinds of farms and stuff, but I am, I'm fairly average. And hopefully this series can serve as an opportunity to learn for myself and uh, you guys too. So without further ado, welcome to episode one of Nick's workshop. I hope you enjoy. We're gonna kick off this series by attempting to build what I personally see as a good, you know, benchmark for what I would at least consider the beginning of what you'd consider advanced redstone. And that is the three by three piston door. I have a little, little thing set up here, just a little enclosure where uh, our door is gonna be. And uh, this is what we're gonna be working with today. And hopefully by the end of this episode, this little three by three space here will fold out at the flick of a lever and uh, yeah, we'll have a little three by three piston door. Now I will say that I've done this before, but it really wasn't the most efficient design. And uh, I feel like I've learned enough redstone um, since then to do a lot better of a job. So uh, let's see what I can do. So if there's anything I wanna do is I'm gonna take down this enclosure. Uh, that was just for show. And I know I'm probably gonna wanna peel it away anyway. Um, to get to everything. And I also want to get rid of these because this is usually where you'd want to start. So the first thing that I know that I'm going to want to do is take care of these two blocks because these two tend to be the tricky ones. And one of the problems I faced with my other build is I sucked both of these down into the floor. But what I could do now is pull them down here. If that makes sense. Instead of, instead of here, let me build like a mock-up and, uh, show you guys what I mean. Okay, so it should go without saying that these parts should be really easy. I mean, just power one block each and you know, pretty straightforward. The problem comes when uh, you pull this block away, put it wherever and you're left, you are left with this block here and you've got to extend a piston up through the floor, grab it and store it away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this block here and this block here to fill in those last two spaces. So I'm gonna take down the rest of this little uh, mock up here and uh, we're gonna get started on making those two floor blocks right here and here. We're gonna shift those up into here, make it so those can come up and then come back down to right there. How, <laughs> the question is how do I do this? Uh, well, I know for starters, I'm gonna want a piston there. I'm also fairly certain I'm gonna have to do some kind of double piston extension vertically, which is also something I'm not terribly competent in doing, but we'll manage. Okay, so here, that is the closed condition. That's where we wanna sit when the door is shut. Okay. Huh, okay. Let's focus on the closing first. Where are we gonna put our lever? So if this is gonna be the border of the door, let's put it here. Let's just put it here. That seems like a pretty safe place to put it. I don't know, maybe here. Yeah, let's put it there, why not? This is also right where some pistons need to be. So maybe my lever shouldn't be there. Let's move my lever there. Yeah, you can go there. Uh, I need it to go... Yufa! <laughs> I don't know why that scared me. You go there. Or wait, no. Hmm. Okay, cause I want it to go I want it to go you, then you, then you again. Okay, okay, Um, we'll do it this way. And I don't know what's making me think of this, but let's just do this. So you go there, you're gonna spit that out, that's fine. We're gonna do another observer like this. Put you there. Oh my gosh, that's gonna get really loud and obnoxious, isn't it? So the plan to get a second update out of this is to send, if I do this, yeah, perfect. Okay. Okay, that's actually really good. Okay, 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 okay. So the idea is, yep, 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 yep. So if I turn this on, I'm gonna get two. If I turn that on, 
or okay so whenever i update this i'm gonna get two perfect i don't know what delay to set this to maybe set it to like there i'm just i'm just throwing ideas let's see if this works nope maybe maybe this could be like there i'm just throwing ideas out huh i'm not particularly sure this idea is gonna work okay this is a weird idea i don't know if i'm a fan of this idea it also might be a bit of a challenge considering where i'm trying to power it from so let's give ourselves a little more room to mess with this one because i do like this idea i do strongly believe in this idea yeah okay 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 so Put a lever there. <gasps> okay, okay. Uh, a little later on you. Okay, let's see if that works. What? <gasps> I wasn't ready for that to work as well as it did, but we're on our way. Vertical double piston extender. Uh, without looking anything, I haven't the foggiest idea what I'm doing. I don't want this double piston extender. I don't want anything to happen to this double piston extender when I'm turning the circuit off. Yeah, because when I turn the circuit off, it's going up. So I want the double, I want the double piston extender to fire off when I turn this on and only when I turn this on. Okay, let's set up something that puts an output out when I turn the lever on and only when I turn the lever on. Let's do that first. And I think I know how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that with something that looks like this. I'm gonna make it so, I don't know why that scares me. Okay, I'm pretty sure this should do the trick. This right here should give us a, maybe I can make it last for longer. This will put out a pulse. This will put out a pulse when the lever turns on. Okay, so lever turns off, nothing happens. Lever turns on, we get a pulse. Let's see if we can get this bottom piston to turn on when we want it to turn on. We'll start there. Wait, did I goof it? Oh my gosh, okay, it's breaking. Okay, I need to figure, I need to, I need to set this up right. Okay, so you're on, which means it's closed. So if I do this, you're, okay, okay. So now turn it on. That's, that's not even close to correct. Okay, 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 okay. So now I know where we are. Oh, now it's just acting funny. Okay, let's mess with, okay, so what I'm trying to do is not make it rain. I need this piston to move up after that first block moves. Let's add another tick to you. I'm literally just like throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks. Yes, ooh, that was it. That was it, 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 that was it. Okay, so right when that happens, I need a redstone output. I wonder if this will do it right here. Okay, wait. Oh! Huh? <laughs> wait a minute. What? Wait. wait a minute, there's no way that just worked. Prepared for that to work that fast. No, come back, what the heck? Okay, wow. Um, I was genuinely not prepared for that to work. <laughs> okay, well then uh, let's get the rest of this in place and um, finish off this first episode quite quickly. I am, I am genuinely surprised. Let's get this whole thing sorted out. Let's do this. Yeah, that's not gonna conf that's not gonna mess with anything. Yeah, okay, we're good. We're safe doing that. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> stop scaring me. And now let's do the same thing with you. Although I'm gonna try and do this one a little differently. Oh, I can do this. You. You. Are not correct. You. There you go. So when I do this. What? Wait. Okay, how fast are you? Okay, I'm gonna have to add some kind of delay. Is a repeater long enough? Oh, but then a repeater has that problem. Oh no, I'll do it this side, I'll do it from this side. What am I doing? I'll do this, here we go. 
you into there, into there, into here, right? Like if I did this and I did this. Oh, wait, and then I do this. Do you work? Oh my gosh, that's insane just watching that work and it's not even done yet. Okay. Okay, so you, you take too long. What if I did that? Oh, you're close. Wait, were you the first? Okay, one more tick of delay. <gasps> oh, boy. Let me add two to this and add two to this just to make it like, Boys, I'm I'm genuinely impressed with myself that I was a, I was able to make this work and it's fairly compact. I mean, I know it's not compact by like, you know, proper redstone standards, but I'm I'm quite proud of myself. I'm not again, I'm no master, but for the size it is, I will 100% take this. I'm wondering if I can slim down that side one more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, I can slim it down. Um, let's do this. Get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you. Take you. Oh, uh, put you over here. Run, uh-oh, no. Run you with you. One, two, three, I believe it was. And then just put you there, right? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you still do everything? Yeah, and it's a little slimmer on this side. Perfect. No way. All right, all right, all right. Let's uh, get this last block, huh? So it's just a matter of you being right there. I can just take you from here, can't I? Right? Oh! Oh! Yeah! Oh, that's amazing! All right, let me, uh, you know, finish walling this off. Oh, that makes me so incredibly happy. I wasn't sure how long this was gonna take, but that's way less time than I thought it was gonna take. Yes! Oh, man. So what did we learn today? First thing we learned. Wow, okay. How short of a pulse can this take? I'm curious. Let's try running. Let's try this first. Let's try this. Wow. Okay, so this can take a pretty quick pulse. Or wait, no, I suppose the only thing that matters is the duration of this repeater. Are these? Okay, let's try this one. Nope. Okay, so it's got to have at least a maximum delay repeater under that block. That is pretty slick. Wow. Okay. And I know that's probably a well-known design, but that's the first time I ever actually figured that out. That was a pretty satisfying first episode. Oh, I'm so proud of this. That very, very satisfyingly concludes the first episode of Nick's Workshop. I hope you all enjoyed this as much as I did. I'm actually, I cannot stress enough. That was that was quite good. If you enjoyed this and you have any ideas for future redstone projects I could attempt, please let me know in the comments. As always, you guys know, I love hearing from you. So whether it's about the series or just about, you know, how your day's going, whatever it is, leave a comment. I, I read them all. I love them. If you want to find me on other platforms, everything is in the description. I just did a big refresh of my Discord server, so please feel free to join there. It's got nice, uh, nice new info channel and fresh rules that were, uh, previously four years old, so very glad to have that fixed now. But uh, yeah, thank you everyone for visiting my workshop and I will see all of you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> oh my goodness.